Today we're going to talk about electropolishing metallurgical samples. Um, I have our electropolisher here, the Electromed 4 polisher. Um, electropolishing involves preparation of a material sample by using a power supply and a chemical electrolyte to selectively remove material from the surface so that we can see the true structure underneath. Now, why would you want to electropolish versus mechanical polishing as a traditional grinder and polisher where you would grind a sample with silicon carbide paper and a, and a diamond abrasive? Electropolishing, where it applies, can really save a lot of time relative to traditional mechanical preparation. You can do a electropolishing preparation cycle in less than 30 seconds in most cases, and there's no need to go through the process of mounting or grinding and polishing that you traditionally would with a, with a standard grinder polisher. You can take a part, you can cut a section from that part, you can grind the surface and simply go to electro polisher and within less than 30 seconds we can get the microstructure. It saves a lot of time, it's very easy in situations where it applies. Now, some of the materials that are particularly amenable to electro polishing include carbon steel, stainless steel, iron, copper alloys, and aluminum alloys. Whether cast or, or forged materials works very well on all these material types. The Electromat 4 polisher consists of a power supply and electrolytic polishing cell. Very easy to use. The polishing cell here contains your chemical electrolyte that we're going to use to prepare the sample material. It has integrated cooling lines. Some electrolytes require cooling during polishing. The cell itself contains an integrated cathode inside the polishing cell. And on top of the cathode, we're going to use one of various masks that are inserted. Now, the mask is going to determine the size of the area that we're going to polish. We have different size materials, different requirements, uh, different current density we might want to achieve for different material samples. So we're going to insert a mask in here, and the sample is going to go on top of the mask and the anode is here, it's placed on the back of the sample, and this creates a power cell between the sample and the electrolyte. We're going to selectively remove material from the sample and polish and etch that surface so we can examine it under the microscope. Power supply over here is where we're going to set our control parameters. We have our pump over here which is going to drive the electrolyte through the cathode and enable that to make contact with the sample. And over here, we're simply going to set our voltage for our etching and polishing cycles over here and our etching and polishing time. We have a material sample. This is a 4130 cast steel sample that we've cut. We've ground the surface to 320 grit silicon carbide, and we're ready to electro polish. I've got in here a, an electrolyte solution consisting of 80% ethanol, 14% distilled water, and 6% perchloric acid. Uh, different electrolytes are available for different uh, materials uh, depending on what your application is. I've got a mask I'm going to insert on top of the cathode is 12 millimeter orifice. This is going to be our area that we've selected to polish. I'm going to put the sample on the mask and I'm going to lower the anode onto the back of the sample surface to make the electrical connection. I'm going to begin the pump here to create the electrolyte motion and complete my circuit between the electrolyte and the sample material. I'm going to set my voltage I'm going to polish at 35 volts for about 10 seconds. I'm going to set up an etch cycle of 10 seconds as well. Now this, the machine is going to begin on the polishing cycle it's going to polish for 10 seconds. After polishing, it's going to reduce the voltage by a factor of 10. So it's going to reduce our, three point, our 35 volts to 3.5 volts and enter an etch cycle for another 10 seconds, at which time our preparation will be complete. Now all we need to do is hit the start. We got about two amps of current in the polishing cycle, 1.5 amps. I dropped to about 0.1 to 0.2 amps during the etch cycle.
cycle is complete, I'm going to turn the pump off and we're going to take the sample from the cathode area. I'm going to rinse the sample, spray with some alcohol and dry, and we're ready to go look at the polished surface under the microscope. We have our sample that we've electropolished. This is the 4130 steel sample. We've got our selected area in here where the, we have the mask on. And this is the surface area here that's been polished and etched. And we're gonna put this on the microscope and take a look at the microstructure. So you're looking live here at this sample. And I'm focusing in here on the N4130 cast steel microstructure. You can see um, the structure looks very good. Um, in the area that we've prepared, you've got a good clean microstructure, be able to do our analysis very easy. And the whole process took us just 20 seconds of polishing and etching and a few minutes of manual grinding. So a great advantage to electro polishing is you can really get good quality results. Here we have our 4130 steel sample that we electro polish today and the cast steel material electro polishing works very well on cast and wrought steels, carbon steel as well as stainless steel. Uh, very easy process. Just take the component, cut with abrasive cutter, coarse grind at 320 silicon carbide, and electro polish. And in a matter of seconds, we have a good quality grain structure. This is a cast aluminum sample here. We have our structure here revealed with a mixture of fluoroboric acid and water. Same process on this uh, sample otherwise, just cut with an abrasive cutter and coarse grind electro polish over a period of seconds. You have a nicely revealed cast grain structure here. This is an image taken in polarized light, which gives us the grain contrast. We have uh, also copper alloys. This is a CDA 240 brass sample here with grain structure very well revealed with electro polishing. This is a phosphoric acid solution that we use on this one. Again, just a period of seconds and good quality grain structure. And finally, we have a wrought steel sample, a mixture of ferrite and perlite. Uh, this sample also prepared with ethanol, water, perchloric acid mix, and just a few seconds of polishing and etching time and very good microstructure. So a variety of materials are, are amenable to electro polishing. Uh, depending on what you're working with, contact Bueller for further information. Electro polishing is really a great way to get a good microstructure in a very short period of time.